Welcome to a special classic game room for a very professional review of 3D Crazy Coaster on the Vectrex, which works with the Vectrex 3D Imager. Hopefully you're wearing your 3D Imager while watching this review, otherwise you won't get the full 3D effect. It's pretty awesome. 3D Crazy Coaster. Like I showed you in the full 3D Imager review, the Vectrex 3D Imager does not work in the same way that something like PlayStation VR or Oculus Rift or even the R-Zone works. That thing is terrible. This works by spinning a color wheel, creating a 3D effect off of images displayed on the Vectrex screen. Here it is, a 3D Crazy Coaster for the Vectrex 3D Imager only. Love the packaging for these. Thanks to my friend Mark in Wixom, Michigan for letting me play this. He's got a nice collection of 3D games. Climb aboard the crazy coaster and get ready for a roller coaster ride more dangerous and exciting than any you've experienced before because you run the risk of a full Vectrex 3D lobotomy. Which actually sounds like a good thing. So I'm not sure what's dangerous about that. Raise the passenger's arms during the ride to gain points. Can you rip their arms off? I guess we'll find out. Beware of hazards during the ride that could send passengers flying out of the car. That sounds like an insurance risk. Can't wait to play it. Let's fire this up and before we do, we need to change the 3D color wheel in the Vectrex 3D imager. So, let's do that first. All right, it took a couple good yanks to get this out of there. It's actually pretty tricky. And this is the Narrow Escape and Crazy Coaster versus the 3D Mindstorm. So you can see there's some differences between the two. Now let's dive into the world of 3D roller coasters, followed by Narrow Escape. is not very safe. It is, however, in three dimensions, which is better than most roller coasters, I think. Actually, I don't even like roller coasters. I never have patience to sit through the line. Woo! Uh-oh. Up we go. And... Down! The 3D effect is very 3D-ish. Turning, leaning. How do you throw up your lunch? Can you do that? What button does that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. oh man. I'm going to sue this 3D amusement park. Turn, don't fly out of the coaster. That would be bad. Arms up, arms down, arms up. Oh, go, oh, go, I'm fallen to my death again. This is the least safe roller coaster ever created. This thing's, it's like worse than the Thunderbolt. <laughs> that's, that says a lot. Three dimensions of roller coasters. <laughs> I think I just ripped my arms off. This is the worst roller coaster ever. But at the same time, it's the best because it's on the Vectrex, so. Keep those hands in. And you can duck. I think that you're looking at your shoes there. I think that's what that is. Whoop. Oh, I ripped my arms off again. Do you really need arms? <laughs> oh! Too fast. Put on the brakes. Oh gosh. Ah! What do you do? Oh my gosh, we need a zoop. Hey! I think my eyes hurt a little bit, but I'm okay. I'm all right otherwise. Whoa! All right, now this time we're gonna duck under the ice cream. I don't know what that was. It looked like ice cream the first time I saw it. It might be a bird. Arms up! Woo! 
Ooh, no, arms in. Do not get your arms ripped off the roller coaster. You signed a waiver before you get on the coaster. But if your arms are ripped off, it's not their fault. I'm getting better at this. I'm fairly certain it does give you a headache after a while, though. In fact, I actually don't remember who I am. I think my name is Zardoz. It's nice to meet you. My name is Zardoz, and I shoot guns out of my mouth. Here's what the game cartridge looks like. All of the 3D game cartridges look like standard Vectrex 3D cartridges. Vectrex, the high-performance machine. That's an understatement. Whoa! Oh man, I need a poster of this. You know, I don't think I've ever seen this foldout in any of my other Vectrex games. That's incredible! Look at this! It's like a combination of Vectrex and the Magnavox Odyssey 2 art style on the packaging. I love that. If you wear that, Cobra will hire you. Being attacked by seagulls. Whoa! You know, I actually was attacked by seagulls once. They're nasty little things. Ah! They're like rats with wings. They make these games look really cool. I have most of these. I mean, they are really cool, so it doesn't take much to make them look really cool, but... I like how they have the games inside the overlays. Dive bombing death birds. Oh! Oh man, I got eaten by the pterodactyl. <laughs> this game is interesting. I respect it for death birds, but. Whoa! Keep those arms in. Can I just duck the whole ride? <laughs> My favorite ride at the amusement park is the ride home! Ah. I'm gonna go play Mindstorm. I'm not so sure about this game. Also, I feel sick. Classic Game Room has been brought to you by the ultra-massive Video Game Console Guide, 230 pages of video games on Amazon.com, Retro Megatrex, and How to Make a Video Game Review Show That Doesn't Suck. And Jesus number two. Welcome to the Patreon Lord Carnage Club being shouted from a turbo volcano. Michael and Ariana Nelson, Ian Shore, Stephen Chucknick, Al Stever, Rick DeBarros, Jason Goy, Andy Schleiss, Sergio Matthias Hergert, Philip Straubenmuller, Jack Stavris, Ohad Kane, Simon Allen, and Sean Zoltek.